Hey everybody, I just wanted to kind of do a little update here. It's nothing uh, major, important, uh, anything like that. But I've had some developments here uh, in the last couple of days. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, mind you, uh, this is the makeshift uh, repaired greenhouse uh, thing inside the house that I was um, showing you a couple of times before. But uh, if you take a look here, the last couple of days I have had the opportunity to um, transplant, um, oh, let's see, broccoli, cauliflower, tomatoes. I've got a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> Looking at things, peppers, um, a little bit of lettuce. My Eva's Burgundy lettuce didn't do so well. I, out of the five plants that sprouted from the ten seeds, uh, three made it. Uh, longer than a few days and uh, one of them after the transplant uh, did not make it but the other two are looking okay um, I've got uh, more tomatoes and peppers back there I transplanted the um, the lime basil so it's back there I'm just using a combination of uh, drinking glasses and you can see some over here just the clear ones, um, drinking glasses, um, actual pop cans that I've cut the top off of. Um, that one doesn't look like there's much there, but there's um, there's a pepper sprouting out of that. These are uh, King of the North sweet peppers that are coming up. And uh, these are the Chervina Cheska sweet peppers from Hungary, I believe. And back behind that are some jalapeno peppers. I've got some purple jalapeno peppers. Um, some more of them somewhere up here. Don't really remember where. I've got some marigolds that are sprouting. I'm growing about 20 marigold plants. So I can put them in between uh, the tomatoes. There's some spinach right there. And I really thought I had more of the jalapeno peppers. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Purple jalapeno right there are three of them. And I'll probably plant some more from seed. I've noticed uh, last year that the seed, did, uh, the ones I planted from seed, directly in the ground uh, compared to some of the ones that I actually uh, planted before really um, turned out about the same um, speed wise. So we'll look at that. Uh, the reason I did the tomatoes is, uh, and uh, the herbs, some of my uh, toilet paper rolls were starting to mold pretty bad and I, a lot of the plants were starting to get very tall. Um, you know, Just for an example, some of the tomatoes and some of the broccoli and the uh, cauliflower were maybe four or five, six inches tall already. And uh, even though they're just sprouts, uh, some of them just have the two leaves, um, except for there's that, that, cala, that uh, broccoli right there. Looks like it's getting its second set of leaves. Um, even though they only have don't have their true leaves yet, uh, they were getting kind of spindly. And I know uh, tomatoes, if, if you bury them deeper, like those for example right there in that cup, goes all the way down, probably to there. That's just going to make roots on the side of that plant. Uh, I've also got some eggplants in there that I've done the same thing with. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now. Um, sweet potato, look there. I've got a uh, new root coming off of there. Um, new root on the side up there at the top. You can see actually three three white dots there on the very edge and those have just been getting bigger and bigger over the last few days. Um, that's actually going to be roots uh, coming out of the side and then I expect in a matter of uh, maybe a week or two once those start I should be getting uh, some sprouts on the top. We'll see. Uh, if I don't, well, that's okay. Um, got some marigolds here as well. I can't forget those. I set those out uh, so I can get to some of the other plants. But you see, here's kind of what I'm running up against here. Looking down there at the bottom, I'm getting a little bit of um, just mold on the side. And uh, on the tomatoes, I was watering them quite a bit. It, it's a lot worse. And I know once we plant them directly in the ground, it's not going to be a problem. But um, 
I was kind of getting afraid that I was going to end up with some kind of uh, um, lung-based um, mold type of bronchitis, emphysema, pneumonia type of thing, so <laughs> I wanted to get moving on that. Now, um, this weekend, this is Friday night, this weekend I'm going to be planting onions, probably Sunday, because we've had a several days of rain. I don't want to go to the community garden plot and uh, work in the mud. Um, and Sunday is supposed to be a little warmer. So I'm going to plant a, my 200 onions. I cut some potatoes that uh, we just had, regular potatoes we bought at the grocery store, that uh, started to sprout uh, a month or so ago. I put those out in the garage. I cut them tonight. I left some eyes on some sprouts and some eyes on, on some pieces. I want those to set uh, overnight at least. Um, so the cut areas kind of harden up, dry up a little bit, so they don't end up being um, rotten when I stick them in the ground, so they have some protection. I'm going to plant those at home, onions at the community garden plot, and I um, was talking with someone at work that lives just a little further north than me, and uh, he's already planted his radishes, his spinach, his, um, his lettuce, his cabbage, um, those type of things outside, so his beets. So I'm going to plant my beets, my kohlrabi, um, my lettuce, broccoli, cauliflower, radishes, turnips, um, Swiss chard, spinach, did I say lettuce already? Lettuce. I'm going to plant all of those things. Uh, probably either this weekend or next weekend, uh, depending on how much time I have and uh, depending what what the conditions are out there when I go to do the onions. I'll definitely take them with me. Um, just plant those seeds directly in the ground, and uh, some of these that I've I've planted early, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I might go out and, and uh, plant those uh, in the ground later if they snap out of it and and grow a little bit bigger. But uh, that's the update. Uh, greenhouse came. It's huge. It has about 5,000 pieces. I am not looking forward to putting that together because I have to dig a 10 foot by 2 foot uh, hole that's about two and a half inches deep in the backyard. I'm going to work on that a little bit maybe this weekend too. Uh, we'll see what the weather's like. Um, if, I, if I hurry, I can get some use out of it still this spring uh, when we're planting things like melons and cucumbers and, and things like that. And I think that's it. Um, container plants. Probably going to plant some container plants uh, still looking at doing something like that. Uh, I got an interesting container um, from my parents. My mom bought me one. I'll show that to you here in a, another video uh, as soon as I decide what I'm going to plant in it. And um, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Oh, also got a catalog for some uh, tropical plants. Since I'm going to have a greenhouse, I would like to do something uh, like avocado or orange, lemon, something like that, maybe a dwarf tree that, that isn't going to grow higher than 8 feet tall or, or 7 feet tall, however tall this greenhouse is going to be. Uh, if I can keep it at a certain temperature, you know, above 50 degrees out there year-round, you know, why not? You know, why not have uh, tomato, or, uh, oranges or, or lemons or avocados uh, in the middle of Kansas in the middle of winter? That might be kind of cool. Okay, well, that's it for me. Um, Gonna go sort through my seeds now and and do, do a little watering on some of the things that I, I still need to water here in the house and uh, take the camera with me to, um, over the weekend here. We'll show you what I'm gonna plant and uh, how the community plot ends up. I really anticipate there are gonna be quite a few people out there. There were a couple out there when I, I took the last video and uh, it's just getting closer and closer to spring. So, see how it goes. All right, take care everybody. Bye.